Good morning. Oh man. See, this is why I do the up and down. People don't like the up and down, but it is what it is. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to do a little impromptu live here. Let people stroll in. Impromptu live. Okay. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys missed it, I'm going to be doing a quick little blurb on this this morning. I kind of posted it on Facebook last night, but uh, yesterday we did, uh, last night I did a blog about uh, Jennifer McCabe hiring defense attorney Kevin Reddington. If you guys are unfamiliar with this guy, he represents a lot of guilty people, basically. High, you know, serious crimes. He's currently representing Lindsay Clancy, the Duxbury mother. Um, who obviously that whole story was a sensitive issue for me. And I like to avoid that issue, uh, that story, cause it's just too hard to talk about. Um, but he's also represented Jason Correa. He also represented a guy who Jason Correa was accusing of pulling a gun on him, the previous mayor of Fall River. So he's represented the last two mayors of Fall River. He has represented, uh, members of the Bulger crime family and it is, Rumored, although not confirmed, that Jennifer Weeks McCabe, that the Weeks in Jennifer Weeks McCabe comes from the lineage of Kevin Weeks, the famed assassin for the Bulger crime families. But anyway, uh, you know, so this guy's high profile, obviously, probably costs a lot of money. And when he's on the case, that elevates the profile of the case. And we'll talk more about that on the show tomorrow night. But for now, what I found interesting is after I wrote about it, he showed up on my Facebook page, on our Facebook page last night, and he said, he called me Turd Boy, which I'm, I'll read this to you if you guys haven't seen this already. It said, yeah, Turd Boy. <laughs> so right away, or <laughs> Turd Boy. It's like what trolls call me on the internet. This guy's like a well-respected attorney. Like It's like, that's like a, that's like the number one burn of uh, the anti-turtle boy trolls is called hey turd boy turtle fucker often works too but turd boy is the, the go-to so obviously this guy's really sharp first of all he wrote this at midnight at midnight he had to be hitting the sauce he had to be because he's just sitting up and what kind of old man is up that late either way he posts on my page yeah turd boy two consecutive acquittals on first degree murders and three rapes in the past year so he's immediately, first thing he does is brag about how, thanks to his fine work, uh, two murderers and three rapists are out on the street. So thank you for your contribution to society, Kevin Reddington. I appreciate that. Then he says, I'm, and it looks like he hit the enter button because it's a new sentence. It's like a new, like the, the sentence ends and then it says, I'm, and then the next letter is capital. So that means whatever device he's using is recognizing that as a new sentence. So he says, I'm a loser. No, my friend, you are. Three spaces. You are a low-level sensationalist with the blog. That's an interesting word. I believe that is what uh, Chief Diversity called me from the Canton Police Department. Sensationalist. Sensationalist reporting, whatever. Then three <coughs> laughing emojis. Again, this is guys like... 80, maybe, I don't know, late 70s, using emojis at midnight and calling me turd boy. He says, you're, spelled you're wrong, writing this because it's, no apostrophe, the first time you have any real action. So this is the first story I've ever written, apparently. I haven't been doing this for 10 years. I literally had nothing to write about prior to this story. He goes on to say, your wild hallucinatory ac accusations against innocent people will land you in court and your blowhard comments about never losing will go down. So apparently he follows me enough to know that I don't lose in court very often. So he's familiar with that aspect of Turtle Boy. It is ironic that he's talking about your wild hallucinatory accusations against innocent people when this entire case is about a ridiculous accusation against an innocent person. But apparently this will land me in court and your blowhard comments about never losing will go down. So that sounds like this guy's taking me to deformation court or something. He says, you are a reckless person. 
But I'm sure, and then he pressed the enter button again because sure is capitalized. You've heard that before. We shall dance, my friend. So he wants to dance with me. And then he comments, he replies to his own comments and says, you don't want to dance with me. Trust me. So that sounds like a threat to me. Uh, this guy's going to dance with me, apparently. Um, definitely, this is not how I expected the night to go, that uh, this high-profile defense attorney is on my Facebook page leaving veiled threats about dancing and calling me turd boy. Um, this is, I expected a level of professionalism just considering his profile, but apparently, um, we're going this route instead. So that's interesting. So I'm going to call him right now and see if I want to see if he's sobered up, see how he's doing today. Uh, and so I'm, if anybody has his, uh, I have one phone number here. I see on his website, Kevin Reddington Esquire. I'm going to call that. Uh, but I don't know if this is, uh, we'll see what happens when I call this. I'm just curious what he means. This is Kevin Reddy from a Misty Call. Leave a message. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, Mr. Reddington. This is Turd Boy. I believe you could call me Turd Boy. Uh, my real name is Eden Carney, uh, but I'm calling about some recent comments that you made on my business Facebook page last night at about 12:15 uh, a.m. You called me a uh, a loser. Uh, you said I'm a low life sensationalist blog. You you said that um, I uh, had no action prior to this and that I will end up in court with you where you and I will engage in some sort of dance, perhaps even a waltz, I don't know. Um, but I'm wondering what you meant by that. It sounds threatening because you said you don't want to dance with me. That implies that you're going to use your legal resources and acumen to hurt me in some sort of way because you also said that my undefeated streak will be going down. So I'd like to hear more about that. Is this as, uh, is this as legitimate as your polygraph? that you allegedly administered to your own client who is completely not guilty but voluntarily took a polygraph anyway. So if you could just give me a call back, I'd love to hear more from you on this. Maybe you're sleeping this one off. Um, maybe you pulled an all-nighter. I don't know. Um, uh, are you a raging alcoholic? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I've just never seen this sort of... I don't remember Johnny Cochran ever doing this or other, you know, well-respected defense attorneys, does this inspire confidence in your client, I would ask. So if you could give me a call back, that would be great. I see you texted me some sort of auto response that you are in court. So that's good. So you're back in action. So you have sobered up, you've woken up, and you're back to work. So I'm sure whatever client you're representing today is in good hands. So give me a call back when you get this. Love to have you on the show sometime. Talk soon. Bye. We'll see if he calls back. Okay. So yeah, there's that. Um, I just want to do a quick little good morning. Uh, good morning. And uh, we, I want, I also need to announce that tomorrow. So this it's with the playoffs going on guys, it's difficult. I want to watch the games. And I obviously, that's what sucks about being a Boston fan is we always make the playoffs and we always go deep and we're awesome because God loves us more. But tonight the Celtics play at seven 30 in game five. It's an elimination game. They should win that. And the Bruins play at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. So these games last two and a half hours. So I'd rather start at 9.30 on Wednesday than 10 o'clock tonight, if that makes sense. And I think So I made the executive decision that we're going to do the show on Wednesday following the Bruins game. Just pray for no overtime. No overtime, please. They just need to eliminate this goddamn team. These two, they both just need to move on to the next round and get some rest. Get Bergeron back. Get Krejci back. Get everyone healthy. Let's do this. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd let you guys know that. So not tonight. The show will be tomorrow night at 930 after the Bruins game. Not tonight at 10 o'clock after the Celtics. So we'll see if we hear back from Mr. Reddington and stay tuned for more updates on this Canton story. Every day gets crazier. We'll see what today brings, won't we? Peace, Turtle Riders.